Hi guys, again this is Mom Jane and I welcome you to our Empowerment Technology subject. In this video, you will learn about the basic functions of Microsoft Excel. So without further ado, let's get started. So in this video, I will teach you how to create or place a formula in the spreadsheet of this Microsoft Excel. In the given example that we are going to use, we will get the total and the average of the following. So now let us click the cell G3. Now let us always begin our formula with an equal sign. Then after the equal sign, we will type the formula or the function that we are going to use. But in this case, I want to get the total, so I will use the sum function. Then open parenthesis. Now after that, the open parenthesis, we will now include or insert the cell that we want to get the total. But in this case, I will get the total of these values from January to March, or I mean from January to May, that is B3 2. So you will use this colon for 2. So, makikita nyo, mag-highlight siya, B3, 2, what's this? F3. So, in this range, you will get the total from the range of um, B3 hanggang F3. And then, now, let's gonna close the parenthesis and then let us click the enter. Now, you get the total of those values from B3 to F3. Now, let's go to average and just like what we did before, let's begin with an equal sign and then the function average. Okay, open parenthesis and then we will just do the same process as we did before. We go to B3 to F3. Okay, makikita niyo mag-range. Ma, mag-highlight siya dun sa range na, na tinipe ninyo. But you can do this as much as you want to. Pero kung gusto niyo gumamit ng mouse, is pwede naman natin, after we type the open parenthesis, is pwede na natin i-highlight yung range or cells that you want to include in the formula. And then let's close the parenthesis and then click enter. And you will get the result of the average that you include in your formula while ago. So, meron tayong tinatawag na auto sum. This is much easier and faster. So, let's go here to the cell of B, um, B3. Ito yung kukunin natin sum, B3 to B16. So, let's go to the home tab and then click natin yung auto sum. And as you can see, it is automatically placed the formula to the cell that we had selected a while ago. And as we click the enter, you get the result of the total with the range of the cells that you have selected from B3 to B16. Now we can use the same quick tool that we use from the total to get the average. Okay? With the same tool, go to home tab and then... Um, Instead of clicking the auto sum, let's click the drop down here. And then as you can see, with different functions, A, average, count, max, and mean. Okay? In this one, just click the cell that you want to average. And then go to that uh, um, tab, home tab, and then the drop down in the auto sum. And then let's choose the average. As you can see... Um, the formula is already placed in the cell that we had selected. But in this case, um, nakikita ninyo, is kasama tong si B17, which is the total. Now, I do not want to include the total because I just want to uh, to include only in the formula B3 to B16. So, what we are going to do is to highlight the following up to um, the cell that you want to include in the formula. And as you can see, nabago na siya um, with the range of B3 to B16. And then let's just click the enter and now we get the result. We get the average of the cells that we had that included in the formula. Now it's very easy to autofill the following cells below. As you can see on my cursor, this is a um, thick plus sign. 
So we use this to highlight the cells that we want to. But in this case, we want to autofill the formula of the following cells below. Now, as you can see here, this is a thick plus sign. And meron ditong box. And as we zoom to put it near at the edge of the box, you can see that the thick plus sign will change into a thin plus sign. So what we're just going to do is to drag it down, okay, not to highlight it, but to copy the formula that we have here from equal sign sum open close parenthesis B3 to F3. So let's click it and then um, observe that it will change into a thin plus sign and then drag it down, okay? And as you can see, uh, yung formula natin from G3 is nakapi na siya from G16. Okay? It does not necessarily mean na kung ano yung formula mo dito ay makakapi doon. So, as you can see, this is um, wait. This is B3 to F3. And as you go down, instead of being B3 to F3, it is B4 to F4. So see how very much intelligent the technology, the Excel. Um, it's already new. Alam na niya agad kung ano yung compute natin. Now, we can do that also on the average function. Not only to sum it, but also to copy from the average. Okay? Now, let's copy the formula. To get the average of the following um, cells below, let's drag it down and then as you can see, we have the result that we have now the average, okay? We have this um, equal sign, sorry, equal sign average, open close parenthesis, B3 to F3. Now, on the, under H3, we have this average b4 and f4 now to complete this exercise we can do dito sa baba so we can just drag it to the right to get its sorry we can yeah we can drag it to get the average of this one and then sorry this is the total and then this is the average so now that is how you <laughs> so now that's how you use the basic functions in microsoft excel i hope that you learned something new in this video um please do not forget to like and subscribe and please share it to your classmates to your friends and see you in our next vlog bye <laughs>